Baidu wants their app to be their super app. So you can do lots of things in it. Um, they showed a bunch of, they showed videos of people doing, using the Baidu app to book a hotel, to uh, identify vegetables with the camera, uh, or like Tuchan, like local specialties. Um, they also, you can use it to get, in, you know, better information about healthcare. What they're trying to, to hammer home here is that uh, Baidu's AI can essentially be a sort of a life, life supporting system or life assistance system uh, for, uh, you know, for, for your average individual. Um, so, and that includes something like healthcare, that includes uh, your daily schedule, that includes, you know, getting from A to B, uh, and that includes, um, uh, our, our, the next point here, which is an actual, uh, I guess, uh, a, a face or a name to this assistant, and that's uh, that's Xiaodu, which right. is uh, uh, which is Baidu's uh, smart speaker system. Yeah. So here we have we had a, a screen with a speaker uh, was the first product, um, which kind of a cool thing is they had a KTV function, so you can actually order a song and there's a microphone it comes with it and you can sing karaoke. The cool thing they did with it is they, there's a camera somewhere in the TV and they used it to do a, they made a video call to their office with this giant TV. Uh, and then the third was a Xiaodu uh, headphones pro, kind of smart headphones. They're noise canceling uh, and it has the, if you have a fast talking boss, you might want to get these because they can, uh, transcribe your conversations um, and shall do is good enough to uh, understand either fast talking co-host or if you want to just and then the fourth was a was a dictionary pen um, where you can scan english words it'll read them and translate them i think you can scan probably other words too 